around for the city of Richmond after all. Yeah, listen, thanks everybody for coming. Thanks to the Workers' Bar for letting us use the uh, venue tonight. Thanks to the bands that are playing and Laura for organising everything. I just want to explain really quickly what this is about, what this election campaign is about. First up, it's about places like this, this live music venue and all live music venues in this area that have been threatened by the high rents, by the gentrification. And what this campaign, one of the things this campaign is about is keeping live music alive in this city forever and not letting the yuppies push it out of the inner city full stop. The other thing is for the people who work in that industry, the people who are serving the beer tonight, the security, the musicians, the roadies, who are on absolute poverty wages. Well, we have, according to The Age newspaper, Gina Reinhardt, last year earned $1 million every 30 minutes. <laughs> That's the type of Australia we're living in right now, and we want to turn that right on its head. Woo! Yes. Woo! The other thing that this campaign is about is about people like you, who come to party in this type, this part of Melbourne, who work in this part of Melbourne, but many of you, most of you, can't afford to live in this part of Melbourne because of the high rents. We want to see a massive expansion of public housing. We want to see rent control. They've even gone to places like New York. So that young people, working class people, poor people, students can live in the inner city again and we don't let it be turned into some type of yuppies paradise, which is what the developers want to do. Yeah. It's also about the people across the road in the public housing estate there in Richmond and Collingwood. The 20% of people in this area that live in public housing are absolute dire third world poverty from Sudan, from Vietnam, from China, none of the major parties give a rat's ass about their issues. We're putting their issues front and centre. They want to keep their grass, they want to keep their, their open space, they want to have better maintenance, they want to have their public housing, and we will make sure that they are not forgotten about in the inner city during the course of this campaign yeah. and over the course of the last years. It's also about standing up to the bad guys, and I'm really, really proud, not just to be standing in this election as Steve Jolly, but Sanon, as a member of the Socialist Party, who have worked with other community groups, with other activists, and most importantly, with rank and file members of this community, standing up against the police, the LMA, the media, the security, and stopping the East-West Tunnel over the course of the last 12 months. What this is about, it's not an election campaign alone. We're trying to build different type of politics in Australia. If I get elected in 40 odd days time, I'm only going to accept the average wage of a skilled worker. All the rest will be put back into the movement as a whole so, so that I don't lose touch with the people that I'll be representing. We want to build the type of mass politics that we're seeing right now in Hong Kong. We saw in Occupy, we saw in Tiara Square, because the bullshit politics that we have in Australia at the moment of Tweedledum and Tweedledee, we need to turn that on its head. We need to bring new politics into Australia, the politics of the street. And that's what this is about. The last thing I want to say to you guys is two things we're going to ask you to think about doing. Number one, if you share that vision of turning this country upside down and bringing it back to the grassroots, you should think about joining the Socialist Party and sign up at the back of the, at the stall at the back. The second thing in relation to the election campaign, please put up a placard outside your house. Help us on election day. Letterbox your street. If you want to do any of those things, sign up at the stall at the end of the primary. Um, at, before you leave tonight. Thanks everybody for coming. We're really going to make history over the next 40 to 50 days. Yeah. Be part of it. Thanks very much. Yeah.